Hi, my name is Mahsa Aftakari and I'm going to talk about the majority problem in population protocols. This is a joint work with David Doty, Lejak Gazdianiak, Eric Severson, Zhegok Stokaviak, and Peshamek Unansky. Population protocols are asynchronous complete networks of computational entities called agents that have no control over whom they interact with. Here's an example of a protocol with three transitions. A protocol consists of a pair of states as input and as output that specifies how the agents should update their states. In every interaction, a random scheduler selects an ordered pair of agents independently and uniformly at random. The agents observe the state of the other one and update their own according to the predefined rules of the protocol. For example, if these agents in state A and B interact, they both change to state N. And if these agents in state A and N interact, they both change to state A. We study protocols for the majority problem that is determining in an initial population of N agents each with one of two opinions, A or B, whether there are more A's or more B's. Population protocols are an abstract model for molecular computation, where the chemistry entities randomly bump into each other and may or may not generate new species. Here's a simulation of the rules we just went over from the population protocol simulator called Peregrine. As you see, eventually the majority convinces the population. Formally speaking, a protocol consists of a set of states, a set of initial configuration, and a set of transitions. With this specific six-state protocol, the agents can determine if in the initial configuration there are more A's or more B's, or even if it is a tie. A simulation from Peregrine for this protocol helps us to see that in a configuration with exactly one more of A agents, eventually the majority convinced the whole population to drop vote B. Although the previous protocol solved the majority problem, both are not optimal in some senses. The first protocol, the three-state majority, works fast and takes long and time, but it won't correctly converge to the majority if the initial difference between agents in state A and B is small. The second protocol, the six state protocol that also detects ties, converges correctly to the majority from any initial configuration, but this happens very slowly and in super linear time. Starting from 2004, many researchers have considered the majority problem in population protocol. The space and time complexity of the protocols have been improved over the time. It was a long existing open question if there exists a protocol that solves the exact majority problem in log n time while using log n states. Our protocol closes this gap. Note that in this chart, the gray area shows the impossible region. Here we show an example of how a population of size 9 with this initial configuration computes the majority in polylogarithmic time. Most of the majority protocols in the previous chart work in synchronized hours of cancel and split reaction. By cancel, we mean when two agents with the opposite opinion interact, they can both safely switch to neutral, which is shown in gray. And by split, we mean recruiting the neutral agents to carry an opinion while preserving the invariant of the total supporters. We achieve this by introducing a bias value that gets divided by two if a biased agent recruit a neutral agent. Now in every interaction, we preserve the difference between some of the biases across the population. With this protocol, we limit the agents to split only once during each hour. Thus, at the end of hour one, the agent's bias value will become one half, and by the end of hour two, the agent's bias value will be one fourth. In general, by the end of hour i, the agent's bias value will be one over two to the i. In a fully synchronized protocol, by waiting log n time in each hour, with high probability, most agents cancel and all agents will have a chance to split exactly once. Thus, eventually, the red agents consume the blue ones and population converge to the majority. 
we can look more closely to a simulation of the fully synchronized protocol that I just described. This is a simulation of 10 to the 9 agents with majority of red. After log n hours of cancel and split, the remaining biased agents hold the majority opinion. This protocol takes log n hours of each log n time, which is equal to total of log n squared time. It is natural to question if synchronization is necessary or not. If we can achieve a faster computation by avoiding these rigid synchronized hours that allow agents to split only once in each hour. Now, as we see in this simulation, with no synchronization scheme, all the bias values appear quickly among the population, which slows down the protocol since we should wait for the scheduler to pick two agents with the same bias value to cancel. Even if we continue the computation, the agents are not guaranteed to converge to one volt. As you see, the agents are now stuck in a configuration with no more neutral agents, and for each bias value, it is either blue or red, so they cannot even cancel. In our protocol, we use the partial synchronization scheme. The clock rules consist of two types of reaction, drip, which happens if two agents with the same value, which we call it minute, interact. One of them goes one minute ahead. An epidemic, which broadcasts the maximum minute. Now we combine constant minutes, for example, five, into an hour. With this rule, because of the dripping reaction, a small constant fraction of agents move to the next minute before the majority of agents catch up, and the agents spend constant time per hour. This is in contrast with the existing synchronization schemes in population protocols that maintain hours of log and time each. We can also look at a simulation of our majority protocol with this partial synchronization and see how the agent's biases change over the time. As we observed, the benefit of the partial synchrony is its time optimality, but we lose perfect cancelling since now we have more than one bias value among the population at any time. As a result, the ending configuration looks like this. Most of the agents have three biases, but there are still some minority left. In this example, red is the majority. Our entire protocol computes the majority in multiple phases. The constant resolution phase clock that I just described ends in a configuration with both majority and minority agents present. And in the remaining phases, we're focusing on eliminating the remaining minority while preserving the invariant of the biases sum to keep probability one correctness. First, we focus on eliminating the minorities who have larger bias values. To do so, we add more neutral agents to split with them and reach to the point that there are only minorities with very small biases left. We preserve some extra neutral agents to help us from the very beginning with population splitting. A constant fraction of agents are called reserve, and their job is to help split happening for leftover minorities with large biases. Once they are gone, we continue with another hour of canceling to eliminate minority agents at the three bias levels where most majority agents are. Now, we are only left to eliminate minorities with small bias values. In the case of large memory, the agents can do averaging with any two numbers. We can mimic this with limited states if the agents hold an approximate of the average. So in both of these examples, that the sum is a rational number between one fourth and one half, we can allow agents to avoid keeping the actual value, but prevent them from any further averaging so that the majority computation remains correct. With this trick, the majority can safely consume the leftover minorities without using extra states. Our entire majority protocol takes log n time using log n states and converges to the majority with probability one correctness. 
In case the initial difference between agents in state A and B is zero, the, probably, the protocol correctly reports tie. To see a simulation of our entire protocol, you can check our Python notebooks. Please look at the full paper for more details and the proofs of our protocol. Thank you.